different people. Type one if I want that. Well, since I'm about to get off, I... All right, uh, everybody just typed one. Okay, everybody wants yeah. the same debate, but different people. All right. Well, uh, I had fun. You guys were very respectful. All right, uh, thank thanks. you very much. If you, you know, if you want to, you know, do one, if you want to debate again, you know, just hit me up because, you know, you have a good mic and stuff. Okay, but, um, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Um, ping me if you think e-dating is good. Can I do it? Can who, can what? Bro, you should let Diamond up there. Whoa. He keeps talking shit. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, we're going to get new people. Uh, can I do it? Can you do it? You think e-dating is good? Yeah. No, not necessarily. It's not bad. I'm debating that it's not bad. All right, so you think it's good. If something isn't bad, then it's good. All right. Yeah, I'm against it. E-dating is good. All right, if you think e-dating is bad, ping me, and I'll put you up on stage. Oh, okay, Dar's, like, been begging me for, like, a long time. So, um, let me put him up on the stage. Hey, Darfram. All right, explain to me how it's bad. Why did he just, why did he just leave? He was a troll. Yeah, is that all he came here to just say? Yeah. <laughs> all right. If you think e, oh my god, if you think e dating is good, I mean, is bad, is bad, ping me. All right. Let me do boy face because he's been pinging me for a long time. Mm. Yo. Right. Yo, what's good, boy face? What's up? Bro, right, you're explain me how eating is that. Um, wait, I'm the good. Oh, wait, I'm the bad one, right? Yeah, bad. Yeah. All right. So, e dating, that shit is just on. Bro, you're I okay. I'm sorry. Your mic is like very, very, very bad. Like, it wasn't even bad. <laughs> yes, it was, bro. Like, his, it wasn't that, uh, bro. His, okay. I, the mu wait, what's it, bro? I'm sorry, bro. It's, it's my all right, bro. I think it's just I don't know if it's just my phone. I'm gonna okay, well, all right, all right. I'm gonna invite him back, but I felt like his mic quality was like because the rules say that you have to have a good mic quality. So raise your hand again for the guy that was up here. I'm sorry, I apologize. It's just I felt like his mic was like, yo, can you invite him back, Royful? Yes. Yo, can you yeah. that nigga trying to play ball. Oh, my fucking bitch. Um, okay, I'm trying to invite him back. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo. All right. Give me a... Welcome here. Tell me reasons why eating is that. All right. So I was going to start with that shit's pretty unhealthy for you. That's unhealthy Most in people. IRL relationships, too. I know a lot of IRL rel relationships that are un yeah, really, really unhealthy. Unhealthy, I mean, as in mental health more and as... And that I IRL, that's good. bad in mental health on IRL, too, by the way. No, no. I yes, it is. With... Have you seen toxic relationships? Yeah. That happens even both. Even then, I feel like you get more of the emotion and the actual dating and voice calling on Discord. Yeah, let me, I'm just going to kick the bot out. Yeah, because you talk emotionally more, but it's still, that's not a valid reason because both are unhealthy. You can... You can, the same way you feel emotionally, can happen to IRL, it's just going to take longer, probably. Okay, but let's say you're e-dating, like, taking it actually serious. You're debating for it being good. You're taking it serious. You're, you're actually trying to spend time with them, and you're spending all these hours inside or, like, pretending to actually have an actual relationship. That's just You do have a relationship. You said it was fake. Yeah, I'm, I didn't say, well, I didn't say it. It's, like, <laughs> trying to make it. I was trying to make it seem as if it were IRL. That's what most people try to do when they're e-dating. They don't just no. try to pull on just, yo, we're dating and it's going to stay over the internet. Most of the time, they just talk about, yo, we're going to meet up one day. We're going to have this future. I feel like that's what most people try to do. More, a lot of people want to have a future. That's not a valid reason. Over the internet, though. Like, that's they not the a valid reason. Internet. That's Ew. what you're saying. It's not a valid reason. Because people, a lot of people, IRL, want to have a future, and it ends up going bad. Wait, what'd you say? 
Okay. I said there's a lot of IRL relationships that have a future, but they go bad. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, with like e dating, when you think of the people that are actually e dating, what do you think of? You think of just someone that's like two has people that are social dating. health, or someone that just sits at their computer for like days and days. Just either or. I know people that yeah, eat it and they play basketball that, and go outside all day. For you. I don't see how that would be good for you. A healthy I know you're saying that you just said you think they go outside or stay inside all day. I know pe I just said I know people that go outside and still eat it. Mm. All right, my next point. You can't have the same emotion over the internet that you would in an in-person experience. That that's cap because um, e dating, you you don't know the person what they look like, so it's gonna build up emotionally. So that's cap. That's cap. But you can't tell me you get the exact same emotion from spending time going out on actual dates that you do looking at the pixels of someone's profile picture on Discord. How do you know they're looking at the profile picture? How do you know they're not sitting voice chatting? It's either one, you... they're voice chatting with their profile picture and that's all they're staring at, or they're looking at their actual cams where they they just sit there and like talk to each other. And isn't that basically the same thing, talking to each other? Just no, you're not looking I at their face? Say you going out with your girlfriend on an actual date would give you the same emotion as you would. For someone just sitting on the other side of the screen talking about, and how oh, you how's your that? day going? Mostly because, I mean, have you had a relationship in person? Yeah. And you're telling me that you sitting on a voice call with your significant other gives you better emotion than, like, talking, eating, and, like, fucking your girl in person. Okay. Without sex, tell me why eating is bad. Without sex, literally. Telling you why it's bad? Yeah. Planning and Because that wasn't future. even a valid reason at all. Well, yeah, giving you emotion. I'm telling you, sex is going to give you the better emotion than a fucking e-sex, e-moaning, fucking... Without sex. E-role play. Without well, sex. I, I'm saying that is a valid Of course, reason. sex is going to be better sex, than IRL. Without sex, you that you're not getting... You'll no, still get emotion, better emotion in person. And I just told you why you would get a better emotion online. What was your reason for online? Because you emotionally, you're not, you don't see the person. You don't know what they look like yet unless they send it to you first. You're saying this is You're emotionally going to build up if you don't know what the person looks like. I'm pretty sure most people that e-day long term and take it seriously know what each other look like. Yeah, but I'm saying before. Like, I can look at a girl and like her just because of her, how her tits are big. What do you mean? You mean when they just show each other, like, little parts of their bodies? And no, 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 no. If they don't, if someone doesn't know what each other looks like, they're going to build up emotionally. Because they don't know what they look like. So they can't like them off of physical attraction. I wouldn't say that's e-dating, though. Just talking to each what? other over okay. the internet. Okay. You're saying e dating. That's literally e dating. Talking to someone you don't know what they talk. What you they don't look have like. to show someone your face just to e date. So you're saying when you guys talk to each other and you just have conversations over text, that shit's giving you better emotion than an yeah, in person I actual guess. getting to know them. You can get to know someone over online. What are you on about? Mm, I feel like that's kind of limited, though. No, it's not. I can tell someone Some all my people secrets, can. insecurities, and all that over online. I've done mm -hmm. it before. <laughs> um, oh. But I don't eat it. Bro, okay, well, yo, e-dating, okay, for the person who's arguing that e-dating is bad, you're, like, making very, 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 like, bad arguments, and a lot of people, like, want, like, another person to go. And that, on top of, like, your mic not being the best. I mean, I'm not saying your mic quality is bad, but it's not the best. It kind of just like it, it makes it like yeah, you're kind of to yourself. I'm on a trip right now. I do recommend Christian or Doodoo Boy if you do see their names. They're pretty like intelligent and like me, but like, yeah. 
All right, bro. All right, so um, if you, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put somebody up that's like uh, a little bit more educated. Thank you for coming up on the stage. I appreciate you. Yeah, I hope they're educated. You dating all of it. All right. <laughs> all right. If you think that you dating is bad, ping me in chat. All right, Dala. There's Dala there. First Bro, literally the stuff they're gonna say you can do IRL. All right, uh, yo, hey, you, yo, can be actually wait. winning at end of days. Jupiter, yo, Jupiter, I won you, um, from last week. Yo, Jupiter, can you invite Dollop to the stage? Um, can somebody just, tag him in chat? They just don't have good reasons or valid reasons at all. Somebody tag Dollop and hold on. This guy. His name is Dollop. Yeah, his name is Dollop or her. I'm not sure. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay, cool. Nice. Um, so, could the person who thinks e-dating is good, like, explain necessarily why you think there are certain benefits of e-dating? There isn't. It's the same as all my uh, IRL dating, just not physical real, uh, interaction. So you think it's the exact same as IRL dating then? There might be a little down, some little bit like dating, maybe like going on dates. That's the only problem. But you can watch a movie together online. So that's not a valid reason. Um, okay, I'd like to open up with my points on why I personally think e-dating isn't the best. Um, I'd first like to start off with the risks. Um, so previously in your debate, you were saying how uh, it forms like a certain connection, not being able to see the person, but not being able to see the person also holds like a huge risk. You know, on Discord, there are like a bunch of pedophiles out there. And if you can't see who you're dating and how old they are and where they're living, then that can cause potential risks to the person dating them. What does where you live in, live in have to do with that? And I'm, you don't have to see them yet. I'm just saying it's just going to build up emotionally if you don't know if they look like you at first. They can send it after how long they want. Like, it can take a day for them to send it. It's just going to build up more emotionally. But that's just you making assumptions. How do you know? What if they never send it? Because it's not physical attraction. What are you on about? Why would you? Okay, never mind. Okay, so uh, you're saying that they're not going to send it. I'm pretty sure people that eat it send each other what they look like. So after then, a little time or as soon. Well, now you're kind of just being a hypocrite Ow. because if you're saying they're going to send it you already said it's good that I they don't send it that. because it helps them form a connection you did though no. <laughs> you said, I said it's good that they okay go you said you said um people can form a connection because they don't send their profile pictures to each other therefore you don't know that how what they look like which means you can form a stronger connection and i said that you, you not knowing what they look like can cause certain risks and you're taking back what you just said that's not what i said at all I said, if they don't send what they look like yet, yet, that it can build a more emotionally physical, a uh, more, more, <laughs> more emotional connection. Because you can't just like someone because of their body. So you're saying you can't just like someone because of their body, but I feel like people tend to realize that yes, personality is good, but physical attraction is also a huge strong point. You have to be attracted to them to be able to form that emotional con uh, attraction. I feel like people think that being attracted to someone because of what they look like makes you seem vain, but that's exactly not what it is. It's just saying, if I'm attracted to someone, I can form that connection with them. It's not a bad thing. And you saying that we shouldn't rely on what they look like, it's a really, it's kind of ignorant of you to say. That's not what I said. I said it builds a more emotional because you don't know what they look like. And it's not off of physical attraction only. Okay, but then what if you build that emotional connection and then you see what they look like and they're completely not your type whatsoever? Are you still going to go on and date them or try and meet up with them if you completely can't stand the way they look? Okay, I can say the same thing. If you like the way they look and they, and they have a bad personality, would you still date them? No, I'd leave them, which is why I'm saying okay, it's... Then. It's good. That's, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's good to have a concept of both. It's good to know exactly what they look like, and it's good to know their personality. And uh, besides the risks of that, there's things such as 
like faking what you look like, faking your personality, lying so you can rope in people. Like pedophilia. How do you have an argument for pedophilia? Because I've brought that up and you haven't said anything. That happens like, IRL. What are you on about? The pedophile is IRL. That's not a good that. that not as good. much as the degree is online. Do you know how many thirteen-year-old girls on Discord who just made an account get roped in by forty-eight-year-old men who can do that because they can send a fake picture? That's they can do that IRL. You can date someone. Literally, there's pedophiles IRL. That's not a valid reason. You can't. Pedophiles. You have oh my. You have more of a chance of getting caught IRL when people can see what you're look looking like and can see that physical relationship than you do online when that person doesn't even know what you look like. Most pedophiles are active online because they're able to fake their image. Yeah, but there's still pedophiles IRL. That some people, older people, can look younger too so don't really get I, like okay i know you keep saying like your argument for this is that there's still pedophiles like irl and i get that i'm saying that most of them still argue in online like most of them are active uh, online yo yo trendy you, okay you're kind of you're kind of getting like nag and uh you said what? like you're kind of getting nag meaning you're kind of like losing yeah, yeah. so uh i, yeah. I could easily like beat her like her all arguments. Right. Oh, Go okay. <laughs> all right. Um. Okay. Uh. Can you change my name to E dating good and hers to yeah. E dating bad? You... Wait. No. No. Can you yeah, um, it was good to have a debate with you. Yeah. No. No hard feelings. Well, no. You sorry. can. Uh. You can just be the host. You can just be the host. All right. I can't change your name though. All right. I. Uh, I'm gonna change your name to Yo. I think you already can. Hold up. All right. Hold up. Um. Change what? What am I supposed to be doing? No, don't, don't, don't do anything, don't do anything. All right. All right, I'm finna change my name to e Dating Good because I'm the... Yeah, this is gonna be an easy piece of cake, no cap. <laughs> all right, bro, all right, so what's your arguments for why e-dating is bad? Um, I'm saying e-dating is bad because there's a whole bunch of reasons. First of all, it risks, like I said, PFLs. Uh, second of all, you can't really form a stable, trusting debate, trusting, sorry, trusting relationship online. And then third of all, I just think it's better to have a physical connection with someone who you could possibly spend the rest of your life with. All right, bro. Okay, so here's what's wrong with your um, first argument. If you're going to just acknowledge the bad, like the just the overall bad things about e-dating, yes, it has its cons, but I feel like IRL dating, when it comes to that, has way more cons. For example, we can talk about, you know, the uh, sexual abuse, because if you didn't know, like, let's say you're in a relationship with someone and they only like you for their body, they're going to constantly just exploit you just for your body. Now, I know you can pose the, uh, propose the issue about uh, pedophiles being on Discord or, let's say, on Tinder or anything else. I feel like if you're smart enough and you have been e-dating, you know how to tell if somebody is of age. For example, uh, I'm going to use my, I'm going to use, like, other people's experience. Whenever somebody talks to, like, a girl, like, online, they might ask that girl, yo, can you um show me a, can you give me a facial bill or something? She shows her face or they might ask, oh, yeah, can we get inside of a VC? So then, you know, you have the face reveal, then you have, you know, hearing her voice now let's say that you ask an uh, old man the vc if he's ducking the vc then obviously you know you know that you can check the validity of them being an old man or not i feel like if you're smart about it then you can really like outweigh the whole oh if you e-date the high chance of you know being a pedophile is a thing now if you're gonna just you know say no can you show me proof that there's a lot of pedophiles on like apps like can you show like any amount of statistics for that so i can know like what i'm arguing against because i don't want to argue about this if you're actually wrong so can you show me any statistics um okay so i'll try that debunking what you just said um so first of all i think you mentioned sorry can you you mentioned that there's a risk of being sexually abused irl right all right, what I mean by sexually abused, so you can understand what I'm saying, I mean like this. Let's say you're in a relationship right now, and you're dating a girl, and obviously, let's say that the guy, he has, like, a lot of lust going through his mind, and he asks that girl, yo, can we have sex? It's really normalized that a girl should do that, and I see it as this, I see it as this. She didn't technically rape her, but she didn't give consent. Do you understand that? Got it, got it. Yeah, so uh, that is a big problem that has happened before, if you need me to show you any proof of it. But yeah, that's a thing that's been ongoing. And it's when like you get into a relationship, 
and you know that person asks for like you know something but you don't want to give it off but you're in a relationship so it seems like you're forced to do it okay so exactly what you said happens IRL also happens online and I just like to say that e-dating can also lead to to the exact situation you said happening IRL. Have you heard of grooming before that happens? Grooming online grooming. Grooming, grooming happens IRL, but yeah, I've heard of grooming. And yes. grooming also happens at a disproportionately more rate online. Uh, you asked for can statistics. You I've, Yo, yeah, I'll you send it right now. Um, and should I send you it in general? Can you um show where the info was, where the info came from? Wait, where did you send it? I don't see I'll it. send the link in general. It's from Pure Sight. So it's a trustworthy site. Pure site. But, it's a dot, uh, first off, it's a dot com. It's a wait. Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right, because I might like it might like log me out. Uh, hello. Yeah. All right. Okay. I can. Yeah. Uh, you probably don't know about the other person in between. Uh, unwanted. All right. All right. All right. All right. That that seems like uh pretty good yeah, point pure site is I, a website for parents to know about the statistics so they can trust their child when they go on devices question. can you show me where they get their info from like where they get their statistics from okay i just like to say that during debates i don't usually ask for statistics like this because obviously no one can know that off the top of their head and i didn't uh, ask I mean, you for you statistics for your point either so what i just like to all right, no, no, no. I'm saying I didn't that. ask That's you for policy, statistics for your first you point. No, you can't. Okay, then you're. If you didn't ask me for statistics and I'm asking you for statistics, I'm sorry that you didn't call me out for doing that. But if I just ask you to check the validity of what your statistics are, you have to do it. You can't, can't shift the burden to me because that's a okay. policy if you didn't know. Can I'm you check? Your site is a website for parents to check the validity yeah, and get I know, their steps I know. and research. I mean, and, that's, and Quora is a website for people to come on there and you know express their problems. Can you tell me where they got their statistics from? You're just telling me what the website is. Can you tell me where they got their statistics? Not okay. every website that you you know use statistics on. No, have, have like just show me statistics. Like come on. <laughs> Um, they get their statistics from the online media of surveys. They have sources if you scroll down. Literally right, can, you, on can, the... you show me, can you show me them? I just sent the link. They have source. Okay, um, I'll send it again. All right. You don't have to send me the link. Wait, do you have pig perms? Because it's probably why you can't, like, screenshot it. I'll give you pig perms, guys. I don't think you have them. So you can, like, screenshot it instead of, like, sending an embedded link. Hold up. I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, you have image perm, so you should be able to send it. So can you show me it? Okay. It's right there. They list all their sources from websites of demographics, surveys, etc. cetera. Um, so going on with my point, I'm saying that if you look at these statistics, which I've proved to you are true, 95% of all Americans between 12 and 17 are online, which means the great majority of these vulnerable girls, boys, who have they, thems, non-binary people, everyone's online. One in five teenagers regularly log into the internet. And if you see here, 100% of most cases are teens that have willingly gone along with their sexual predators. And that can be due to grooming, which I said to you before. Grooming, which can easily happen online as opposed to IRL. A girl is more willing to talk to a boy with an anime profile picture that she's friendly with on Discord than she's willing to talk to a grown man trying to approach her IRL, which is why I'm saying men, people who have bad intentions can easily approach people online, eat, date them, groom them, and then bring them IRL into those situations that you previously explained to me, which is why I'm saying that e-dating is bad because it can lead to these very seriously serious you know situations and i know that you're trying to justify that e-dating is good because obviously a lot of people want love they want comfort but that's what also makes them right, super right, well, super vulnerable you're, you're, you're shotgunning me right now so all right so look i'm so, shotgunning you yeah, <laughs> sorry um, i don't know what that means okay um shotgunning is when you just bring up like a whole bunch of points and then like let's say i just started naming off like like right now i just started saying a whole bunch of stuff about like my reasoning so i was going on one point and i was expanding yes you were it. and then yeah and then you kept like you kept on going on multiple points that's what shotgunning me is and, i was like, on, on talking about one point and i was expanding yeah, you, it, and then you interrupted yeah, that's me what shotgunning is. You're, you, yeah you're not just tell me your one and point that's exactly I'll, what you were doing to me when you kept 
just asking me for sources, which I was trying to uh, explain yeah, to I know. you. And then, yeah, when I asked you for sources, that's one point. You, you said that you were expanding it, so let me... I just think you're being thing. kind of hypocritical, no offense, because I've obviously uh, taken my time and been quiet when you were speaking, and then you just interrupted me. Uh, I mean, I said you were shotgunning me. Uh, if you didn't, you know, tell me that I was shotgunning you, maybe I would have done something. But all right, so look, when it comes to e dating, uh, I have to say this: uh, when you have e sex on e dating, you have to you don't have to like worry about like you know if the girl's like cat is like smelly or anything. Like you like have e sex or anything, it's like very very safe too. For example, you know, some guys, you know, when they uh, have sex IRL, they can get a girl pregnant. Uh, let's say you're like a D1 athlete and then you just come home and your baby girl's like double cheeked up. And then, you know, you obviously have to, you, know, ask them. you obviously have to F them. Oh, wow. And, and then imagine you get that girl pregnant. Now your whole career as a D1 no, is over. What are you saying? So um, basically what I'm trying to say is um, when it comes to like sexual things online, it's way more um, easier than it is uh, IRL. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, you know what, sure, um, take the W, um, I'll step back. W, Katie! But, no, that's not even my only reasoning, and, um, I, another thing is, let's say having a kid, let's, let's use this, like, okay, you're gonna eat it for the rest of your life. Um, okay, if you have a, <laughs> okay so, having a kid, IRL, you have to put, like, child support is a thing. Uh, you, may, you might need food stamps to get them, like, food we're and groceries. We're talking about e-dating, right? Like Yeah, I know. We're talking about e-dating, but I'm also talking about, you know, e-marriages. So imagine you have a kid online. You can go to Roblox Adopt Me. If you don't know what Roblox Adopt Me is, this game on Roblox where, you, you know, you can have a kid. Just, <laughs> and you don't even need a kid either. So I feel like e-dating, you don't have to spend money. Like, for example, you can get any e-girl you want. So like, is this e-pregnancy then? <laughs> yeah, e -pre yeah. And you don't even, when you have e-sex, you don't even need an e -condom. Okay. You just, you know, you just, you know, yeah. So I feel like I won. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, well done. <laughs> Big W. <laughs> um, bye. Didn't she concede? Yeah. Yeah, she conceded. It's okay. You automatically won. Yeah, think? so I don't, Bro, I don't care if y'all disagree. The rumor point is so invalid because it happens IRL. I mean, uh, she conceded, so I won. So yeah. Uh, if anybody she wants to, conceded, she forfeited. That's not a yeah. way. Yeah, she forfeited. That is a win. And no, it doesn't matter. Talking about them, she doesn't win, and she forfeits it. Yeah, I don't, bro. Y'all do realize if you're on a debating stage and everybody agrees that one side won, but that one side conceded, it doesn't matter. I I don't care if I say oh Katie L or anything. She conceded. She should have agreed with her point. So. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to debate work. Bro, I mean, uh, y'all, by what they're doing, what y'all are doing by saying... I mean, she's still forfeited. It, yeah, she's still forfeited. It doesn't matter what you say. If you forfeit, you forfeit. It doesn't matter if you think the other team won. They for She forfeited, I win. But um, uh, anybody who thinks that e-dating is... Uh, um, so we should topic switch here. Uh, yeah, we've been on this topic for a while. <laughs> what did you bring those babies from? Bro, I feel like people are mad because I set the I set the uh, Roblox adopt me and having e sex on there. Yeah, you know, you know, I don't really care if the you know polls what you know what they say. You know, at the end of the day, she forfeited. Maybe that was my you know tactic was to say something weird and you know win. Now it doesn't matter at the end of the day, KDW. But um, I'm not sure if we should switch topics or not. Hey, there's a dude that wants to go over this. Who wants to go over it? He said it's it's good. He has experience with it and all. Wait, we gonna keep doing this or change? Topic to change? Question mark. And just do a poll. We're not doing pro life again.
topic change. Let's do a topic change now. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, I have a few ideas that I don't know if we can get to stay shake and down. Are neo pronouns valid? Do you guys want to no. do that? No. Do you guys want to do kids should be LGBTQ? Put one if neo if you want to do neo pronouns are valid. Put two if you don't. Uh, it's our automatically twos. I haven't even seen a one yet. Okay, so that's the basic. Okay. okay. Um, spam one if you want to do if kids should be LGBTQ. Spam two if you don't. More two. twos. It's more twos. I mean, I should run a poll because I see the, I. Who won the, who won the, who won the I'm seeing more twos. Katie. Who won, yeah, Katie. Katie Dang. I think it's this core craft though. Hey y'all. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna lock the chat for like five seconds. You guys can wait a second. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> um, I'm seeing more yeses than noes. Uh, All right. Uh, new topic. I'm gonna do another topic. New topic. Okay. I wanna. I feel like I want to do one about trans, but we get like warned every time we do because people will be transphobic. Oh, I typed the wrong thing. My mind is in five different places. Okay, here we're gonna do another poll. Okay, because I typed the wrong thing. Okay, it it was a debate topic, but. I did the wrong um, poll, so you guys have to wait. So you guys don't want to do that one, I have another one. Yo, 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 okay, um, I'm so sorry, my mom caught me. It was about something serious, but, um, uh, I have a question. Yo, um, type one in the chat if you want to, if you want to, all right, that is a good topic. That is a good topic. That is a good topic. All right, um, wait, yo, can yo, Trinity, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, um, I'm gonna change my uh. I don't need you to be the host anymore. Um. All right. I came back, but thank you for taking my place. Um, we I guess we're gonna do that topic. Hopefully, we don't get banned because I don't know if that's a good topic or not. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do it. Hold on. Um, this isn't a good topic. Yeah, people are saying that the, this isn't a good topic. Um, y'all want to do is neurodivergent pronouns good? So, like, Z's there and stuff. Oh, people are saying no. Oh, that's a dumb topic. Okay, do y'all want to do um said uh I'm AFK for so five seconds. All right, can y'all give me debate topics, please? Yo, type one in the chat if you want to do if, if God is real. Is God real? Type one if you want to do that. I I see a lot of ones. Um, yeah, I see a lot, a lot of ones. I if that's the. No, bro. You have to debate. You have to debate, Chad. All right, I'm gonna do a poll on it. Hold on. Oh shoot! It's, oh. I um, I guess we're gonna do is God is real because it's like looking like a tie. All right, okay. 
Sorry if you're going to leave because of that. Uh, I know it's going to be, like, boring for people who aren't into, like, theology and stuff. But um, I feel like it's a fun debate topic to go over. All right. Um, Yo, Truly, can you debate this, please? Yo, Truly, because I know you're like a... Yo, truly. Okay. Um, if you think God isn't real, ping me. Ping me if you think God isn't real. All right. All right. All right. I got you. Yo, truly. Can you unmute your mic? I gotta know. I gotta see if you're like actually on. Um, this is kind of getting awkward. Um, truly, truly. Can you unmute your mic? I can't really unmute. I'm in my sister's room. She's on the phone. Hello. All right, good. All right, can y'all invite that the the whatever his name is the the guy? Uh, with the... This is gonna be interesting. I've not debated this in so long. All right. Um. Can y'all can y'all invite the the Z guy? Like, I can't. My my phone is like glitch. Hold on. What's his name? It's like it's, I know the first two letters like Z A, but it's like Z something. I can't even. Can't I do not. See. Oh, his name is Jess Zamir. His name is Jess Zamir. Just, and then it's like Z-A-H-M-Y-R-A. Invite him to the stage. Hello? Yo. Up. Yeah, he's raising his hand right now. 